Have you ever noticed the difference between this and this? This is a uh, plantain and this is banana. And this is one of the first things which people get super confused when they arrive to South America. I don't know why we don't really sell it here in Europe. So yes, this is the first thing which South America has taught me. Never think that things are the same. <laughs> in this video, I would like to share with you what living in South America has taught me and how it has changed my life. Chica Chica is actually a nickname which I gave myself because I was living 14 months in South America and recently I just got back from Colombia again after four years. Latin America has taught me all people are good. Not maybe not all, but 99% people are really good. And I don't like the fact that people are always asking me, oh, but South America, that's so dangerous and the criminality rate. And recent, like just yesterday, I watched uh, some documentary on a Netflix and the way they show those countries. I totally understand that you might be super scared to actually go there because it seems like everyone is rapist, everyone is murder, everyone is going to kill you, cut your head and whatever. People are actually good, majority of people are good. The, the only thing they actually care are their families, to feed their families, to go to work and go to back, go back home. And they are good people with a good heart. Therefore, don't let the media completely change perception of South America. Because let me tell you, I did hitchhiking out of stuff all the way from Mexico to Panama. I know that's a little bit crazy, I admit. On my way, I just met amazing people who allowed me to stay in their home, who allowed me to um, spend Christmas with their families. If I can at least pass one thought from everything I've learned in my life, that people are good and don't be afraid. The second thing I learned in South America is to be present. There is a really one a nice quote, like, why are we planning the life is going on? And I think this is something what Latinos, uh, in a good way and also in a bad way, do every single day. You're present. And I guess we in Europe, we worry too much and we are forgetting to enjoy daily life. We are forgetting to enjoy the process of everything. If I can recommend you, sometimes stop and just enjoy the little things around, like amazing weather, uh, your loving family, the amazing food. Third thing which I've learned in South America is that at least I'm speaking for Europe guys, education, safety and healthcare is a big privilege for us. At least in the Czech Republic, it's all of those things are for free, like healthcare and education. Education is amazing throughout the secondary and tertiary education. So guys, if you wanna ever uh, go to Europe and study, I'd recommend Czech Republic. The safety is on actually very, very good uh, level. And also the healthcare is basically for free. And this is not like this in the rest of the planet. So we should really, really be grateful for what we have um, and don't take it for granted because people in South America, if they really want to get a good education, they really need to work hard. You either have to work hard to earn money to actually be able to go to private university or school or to work hard to get in public school but the competition is just so high. Sometimes it's really good to reflect on that. This comparison it's very important, I guess. I Not I guess, I'm sure. One of the other things I've learned in South America is that Latinos are extremely proud from the, where they are from. Doesn't matter if the country uh, struggles with corruption, with a crime, with poor lack of uh, access to education or not enough water or whatever. Uh, they're really proud of what, where they are from. Like you see a lot of flags around, you see a lot of this uh, proud that when they say, I am from Mexico, I'm from Colombia, I'm from Peru, I'm from Argentina, Argentina, sorry. <laughs> oh my God. But I guess this is something, again, I'm more or less speaking for our country, but maybe also for Europe. Very often we are not proud from where we are from. We are often looking up to, to other countries. Well, be proud from where you're from, because firstly, you cannot change it. And secondly, this is where your roots are from. One of the other things I've learned in South America is that happiness doesn't come from the external world, but it comes from the internal world. Doesn't matter if you have a nice car, if you have two houses, have the latest iPhone, the happiness really comes from here. And also, I would say it comes also from 
by whom you're surrounded because Latinos in South America it's very typical for them that to be surrounded by a family or so by like a bigger family so the happiness really comes from the internal world but also it comes from the people being surrounded by people who loves us and we love them it's very very crucial and I guess again in the western countries we're forgetting this a lot and we are becoming more and more individualistic I will give you an example we were in Medellin in Comuna Tresa which was unfortunately negatively known as the most dangerous place in the 90s and in the 80s nowadays it's becoming like a very touristic spot our guide she was 30 years old and she told us that she had her first baby when she was 14 years old and now she doesn't have a husband and she needs to feed all the three kids she needs to feed herself and also some relatives and she was telling us about the increasing prices the inflation rate and everything and i asked her wow like this must be really tough and she just smiled and she said yeah i mean it's not easy but we are really happy and just the way how she said that i was like oh so I guess this is also one big takeaway. Doesn't matter if you're poor or if you're rich, you can be happy. When you live in South America, you realize that water is the most precious commodity. I know in Europe we are talking a lot about increasing prices of oil and gas, but at the end, if you don't have a potable water or if you don't have a water resources, well, that's a big problem. I'll give you again an example. We were in the north of Colombia, close to Cabo de la Vela and close to the borders of with Venezuela and the kids are dying because they are thirsty and they don't have access to potable water so this is something we don't really know we don't really realize in Europe that water is so precious and we need to save it like how lucky we are that we even splash our toilets with potable water crazy food is love and this is what I've learned in South America. Food is not just something what feeds us and nourishes us and gives us some sort of energy, but food is a way to connect with people, it's to express love. Food is a culture and I love how Latinos always gather themselves and they eat together and they often eat with their hands and they eat outside, they have this street uh, food culture and I, I just absolutely love how they perceive food. I, for example, the food is so rich that in Mexico, Mexican food is written on the intangible heritage list of the UNESCO. And I love how people are proud from the region where you're from because very often each region has some special recipe. Food is love and life. When I was in South America, first time, first country I visited was Mexico. And when I went to the southern part of Mexico, it was the first time I've encountered the indigenous people and their cultures. I was shocked because we have nothing like this in Europe. You meet people who are the, from this pre-Columbian civilization and they still maintain their traditions, their language and their lifestyle. So I give you an example, a lot of women don't speak Spanish because they just speak their own indigenous language. There are a lot of languages among all Latinos and in every single country in South America, you probably find some indigenous cultures. If you're in South America, I definitely recommend you visiting such communities. If you're in Peru and Bolivia, you don't really have to search for those communities because majority of the population are indigenous. But it's something like extremely interesting for me because they are able still to maintain their cultures and they live a lot with uh, alignment with the nature they heal themselves with the nature for example the women when they get pregnant they know almost exact date when they're gonna give a birth how is that possible without the technology we use nowadays how is possible that the the death rate during giving a birth is so low those are things which like amaze me again and again in a nowadays world where we have all social media platforms the highest technology people still live like very frugally guys thank you for watching i'm really curious if you have ever been to south america or if you're from south america from which country are you from or if you're planning to go to south america if you have any question let me know in the comment and also let me know if you would have recognized this plantain and this banana thank you guys for watching don't forget to like this video and See you in the next video guys, bye bye!